Welcome to this uh, video day. It's Sunday. It's the 12th of November. We're going to be looking at what we consider to be a high probability trade setup in our view, which is USD CAD. We'll be going to the charts in a moment. And we think uh, there is the potential to make 500 to 700 pips trading the USD long against the CAD. Now, regular viewers will know uh, over the last few weeks, we've done several videos on USD CAD and AUD USD. We've been saying that we expect the dollar to significantly strengthen on both uh, the Aussie and um, the Canada, okay, or Canadian dollar. Now, in terms of AUD USD, that's still in the market for us. Uh, it's 300 pips in profit so far. There's plenty more to come. I'll update this pair uh, in a video shortly. But in terms of USD CAD, we completed our first trade in it, 500 pip profit. Now, a lot of people have said to me, do I think there's much more upside in this pair? Yes, I do. Big trends last a long time. USD CAD is now firmly in an uptrend. I'm just gonna go through how to get in a trend in motion by giving uh, you know, my entry stop and target in a moment in relation to this pair. Now, it is my view as of right now. Um, it can obviously change in line with the market conditions. So if you want our daily technical analysis of major Forex pairs, including USD CAD, you can get life membership to our member center on the link beneath this video. Now, we are gonna be using very simple technical analysis, okay? But what we're gonna be doing is backing up our view of the technicals with a sentiment tool, which is our favorite tool in Forex trading. Regular viewers will know it's the COT, uh, Net Traders Positions from uh, the CFTC. It's a free um, tool, anyone can use it. If you learn to use it, you'll enhance your profit potential in our view. Now, if you wanna learn more about it, there's an explanatory video beneath this one. If you just wanna watch the video through right now, just keep in mind what we always want to do is trade with smart money commercials when their positions diverge significantly from large speculators, okay? And at the moment, the commercials um, are heavily bullish of the dollar. Now, what we're gonna do now is go to the charts. We're gonna look at the COT data first, and I'm gonna draw some levels. Right, let's start and take a look at the COT data. On the Canadian dollar against the US dollar, COT data, it's always foreign currency first. We, of course, trade USD CAD. So I'm gonna reverse this chart the right way around at the moment when we draw our levels. But just wanna get a, a feeling for what the uh, commercials and large speculators are doing so we can judge the sentiment. And you can do exactly that from this chart. This one is from COT Base. Now, what we wanna do, as I've just said, is the commercials in red, the smart money hedgers, when they diverge in their positions from large speculators, we wanna go with the commercials. And what you actually do get is look at this here, okay? Port and bottom, and the commercials going heavily long, speculators going heavily short, breaks in favor of the commercials. Really big move to the upside. Now, in terms of what happens though, the commercials start to aggressively move their hedges short. We get in this zone. They just feel prices have moved too far. They're hedgers, um, so they wanna lock in a price, but you know, very often runs on a little bit to you know against the commercials they're, they're not losing any money they're just giving us a warning sign but we get the warning sign up here if you look when the um commercials have dropped short the speculators have been all stopped out here decide to go long okay and it's here that's significant what they do is they build up a five-year extreme okay against the commercials and what you get is that. So it's a 500 pip decline. So in terms of the, the trade that we completed in USD CAD, yeah, we got that 500 pips really from studying COT in conjunction with the chart. That's why it's such a powerful tool, because it can tell you how far prices can run. Now, in terms of what we've had is we've seen a little drop down in the speculative long positions, commercials lighten their shorts a bit here just to get that little bit of a rally, okay? Now, is that rally in the CAD uh, basically a selling opportunity? Yes, it is, in my view. I think it's time 
to look at buying the USD CAT, and I think there's a very good entry point on the chart. So let's get the chart the right way around now and look at uh, some entry, stop, and target. Chart of USD CAD, and we've got uh, things the right way around now. Now, in terms of um, levels of entry, stop, and target, I'm just going to go through those in a moment. But what I want to do is just go through how this trend has evolved and also make reference uh, to using the 20-day moving average to help you with your entries, okay? So basically down here, okay, when we get this quadruple bottom, there's a five-year extreme into one, two, one, as we saw with the speculators uh, going against the commercials, trying to sell the dollar down, commercials trying to buy it. Now, breaks in favor of the commercials, which are what we expected. Now, in a strong downtrend, 20-day moving average will very often provide resistance. And you can see here, when we broke down through the 20, we come back to it, it provides resistance, you get big sell-off. We do not think it can hold because there's too many speculators short. They're going to get run on stop and they start to get run on stop. You get a little retracement here. Now, once the 20-day moving average has given way, we now expect it to provide support. And look at this. One touch, two touch, three touch, push off. Yeah. Here on this very low volatility candle, we did a video and we're saying if you want to get in, just look for some strength above 125 and see if she runs or well, she runs to the upside. Now we do get to 129. And as you can see, uh, we have got a retracement back to here, 127. Uh, in the last video, I was saying we're putting our stop at 127.65. We're in at 121.65. We've got 500 pips, not 600, because we ran two trades and took one out to lighten our exposure, then put it back in. So a little bit less than we could have made, but that's hindsight. Very good profit, though. Now. We've come through the 20, and now we're sitting right below it. It's not a brick wall, but prices will normally, you know, basically find support around the 20 in an uptrend, strong one, or, you know, resistance in a downtrend. You can see here, we do poke above the 20, and then come back down, but not by much. Got a similar feeling we're going to get the same. It's a very low volatility candle, just like this one, points to a big move. We're obviously bullish. We think it's going to be to the upside. Now, so I draw a support level in first of all. Okay, so that we feel is good support um, in terms of if we dip back. Okay, it's about 127.30. You've got another double top, triple top, sorry, there, right on the round number as well. So you've got two levels of support in our view. So retracements should find support into those levels. Now, in terms of if you want to come in, where would you want to come in? I wouldn't come in on weakness, I'd come in on strength. So you've got a diagonal line there, okay? It's also, a, we made a straight line through that double bottom here, okay? So I would wait for prices to get above the 20 day moving average, but I wouldn't come in you know, right above the, the 20. It's 127.05, really close to the round number. We know there's lots of orders grouped around round numbers, so you can get a lot of noise and volatility. So you want to make sure the bulls have won. So I'd say 127.30, which is probably going to be through the high of that candle there. Okay, so let the double trend lines get taken out, okay? Now, in terms of uh, stop, I wouldn't put the stop here or behind here. I'll put it back behind this round number, okay? Probably, uh, I think a good level is 125.65. OK, so you're risking about 165 pips, but how many pips can you make in relation to your risk? Well, it's a lot in our view, because, yeah, if we were to look at the weekly chart, I'm not doing the weekly chart in this video, but you can go and look at it. Um, the first stop is really going to be 132 in our view. So, yeah, basically that's 500 pips um, or, or nearly 500 pips from your entry. I, I just don't see this level here holding. There's still a lot of speculators short. It's a big tr uptrend in our view or becoming a big uptrend. We just think the natural correction go up to here. And if you look at the weekly chart as well, you see the next level up is 135. OK, so we could potentially see um, a really, really big move. Obviously, our targets have got to be hit. Um, and obviously, 132 is the short term target. But the way yeah, the commercials, they've lightened 
their longs a little, but it's not that much. Specs lighten their shorts, but not by that much. Uh, you know, historically, uh, if you look at the COT um, and the setup we just saw uh, on the chart in terms of the divergence, it still points uh, to further dollar strength. Um, so I, I personally think we've got yeah another 500 pips or more to come. Uh, obviously, this is my view as of right now. Um, obviously, changes I've said earlier on in line with market conditions. Yeah, you can just watch our daily levels if you wish. Uh, in our member center, you can get them on the link beneath this video. So that's the video for this week. Thank you very much for watching me as usual. Take care and have a good day.